So after designing your project in Ipanet, the next step is to prepare bill of quantities. So in other words, you as a design engineer, you need to mention or at least to specify what is the length of each pipe diameter or each pipe size that you used in your Ipanet model or in your design. Okay, so in the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to prepare something like this. If you can see here, we have the serial number, we have the description column, we have the quantity, we have the unit of measure, we have the unit rate, and again, we have the amount. So without further ado, why don't we just start and at least learn how we can prepare bill of quantities after designing our network in Ipanet software. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is to open my uh, software, which for my case is Ipanet 2.2. And again, I need to open where I saved my project. Of course, the project that I designed earlier. This is the network that I designed. Now, the first thing that I need to do after opening this uh, network that I designed is to run my model. That's very important, is to run my model. So if I run my model, everything is okay. Now, from here, what I need to do is to, of course, display the values, the diameters. Okay, so if I go to map and if for, so for links, for links, if I select the diameter, you can see we are having this kind of diameters, okay? But it's quite small. I want to increase the size, the font size, so to say. So if I go to notation and if I sell, if I increase the font size, you can see for now the font is quite visible. So remember, as I told you, this is the internal diameter. But remember, when we are dealing with, uh, let's say, preparing BOQ, we, we cannot use the internal diameter. Instead, we have to use the outside diameter. For example, this is 66 uh, millimeters uh, pipe diameter, which is the internal diameter. So for my case, 66 uh, millimeters is equivalent to outside diameter of 75 uh, millimeters, which is PN10. And by the way, if you want to know how to select, let's say, uh, when you are designing any project, you want to know uh, what is the internal size of a particular pipe, I have a very good tutorial which explains exactly how to select the required internal diameter of a given a pipe. Link to that tutorial will be, as always, in the description below. So from here, what I need to do is to make sure that I select everything here and import in Ipanet. Okay, and import in Ipanet. So to achieve that, what I want to do is to go straight to either to report and then select table or to go to around this icon here, which is written table. But for my case, I want to go to report, then I select tables. Okay, but because we are dealing with the link, with the pipe or we are interested with the pipe, which in Ipanet, the pipe is equivalent to links. So I have to select the links. Then after selecting the link, around here, I have to go and select the columns. Um, as you can see, we are having several properties here, but the property that I'm interested with, I am mainly interested with is the length and the diameter. But uh, for this one here, I'm not in quite interested with, so I'll just deactivate these ones. Okay, and even this one. Anyway, I, just, I can just leave these ones, but I am more interested with the length and the diameter. Now from here, what I need to do is to select OK then we end up having this kind of a pop-up window. As you can see, we are having a lot of values here, but in nutshell, we are having the first column here with uh, lengths, of course, in meters, and also we are having the uh, diameters in millimeters. We have flow, velocity, but as I told you, I am more interested with these two columns, which is lengths and di diameters, of course, in millimeters. Now, what I need to do is to select everything to select everything. So if I click and hold, I need to select everything. But again, if you see that, if, if you are dealing, let's say with a very a huge network that can be somehow tough, well, what you can do is to go to this, you, uh, you can do this, to select the first, you can select the first cell like that one, then you press and hold the shift, then you scroll down, then you select the last cell, which is this one. So if for my case, I select this one, you can see now everything here is highlighted or selected. Now from here, I need to copy. Of course, you, you cannot just go and like, like right click and the click, you know, and the click copy. It doesn't work like that. What you need to do after highlighting everything, what you need to do 
is to go to is to go to this option here which is written copy okay this one here is written copy so if i selected this one copy so if i click it you can see we are having this kind of uh, pop-up window now from here what i need to do is to make sure that i copy so everything is copied to clipboard you can even use the file but i'm more in interested to use the uh, clipboard so if i select this if i click okay so if so these values here these highlighted values are copied in the clipboard so at this particular moment now what i need to do is to open my excel which for my case for now i am using libre uh, libre calc but if you're using microsoft as well you can just follow up with without any issue so if you opened your microsoft excel what you need to do is to copy anywhere so for my case i want to copy my values here so if i click okay then if i right click then i'll just click paste so if i click paste you can see so after being provided with this kind of window i'll just click okay so we are having everything here okay this is the length column this is the diameter flow velocity but as i told you i am more interested with these two columns now from here what i need to do i'll just remove these two uh, these two these rows here i'm not interested with these rows now what i need to do is to bold these values here so as i can see them quite easily now what next okay so from here what i need to do is to make sure that i filter everything for my case i want to go straight to auto filter so if i click this one then i want to make sure that i activate just like that so if you can see for now we are having this kind of drop down menus or drop down icons okay so i want to start with the highest pipe diameter so if i select the diameter for this one if i select the diameter and i click this one you can see we are having our pipe diameters here so the the highest pipe diameter here for according to these values here for my network which was this one the highest pipe diameter here the highest pipe diameter that i used in my network was 66 internal diameter which is again as i told you is equivalent to 75 outside diameter pn10 outside diameter the highest being 66 so if i select this and i click ok you can see for now we are having our values here as i told you this is 66 but what i want to do is to select and highlight this this is the length column i want to select this which again it will help us to calculate the length for for this for this for this pipe diameter which is 66 so if i click sum so for now the total length for 66 internal diameter is 6329.57 of course meters what i can do is to prepare some to prepare another sheet and i'll call it boq okay i'll call it boq now the first column for for a standard boq the first column here is always a serial number sn then we are we also have we also have the description the description again we are we have the quantity we have again the unit of course the unit of measure unit of measure and again we have the unit rate so for that uh, you need what is the unit rate and last we have the amount okay i want to bold this first this this one's here and again okay so let's start with value number one which for my case which for my case the total length here was at uh, this value so if i copy this value here and i go to my boq and so for the quantity i want to paste it somewhere here i want to paste only numbers and the unit of measure here is meters and again the description okay so for description i need to make sure that i specify the outside diameter also i specify the pressure rating because that is, is very important when it comes to procurement pressure rating and again to specify the pipe materials okay so 
what I need to do is to specify the pipe material, which for my case is HDP, of course PE 100. And also I, I need to specify the outside diameter. Okay, outside diameter. So 66 internal diameter is equivalent to OD 75 millimeters. And again, I need to specify the pressure rating, which is again is very important. So this pipe has a, according to my design, this pipe is supposed to have PN10. Okay, PN10. So that is the description. And again, we also have the uh, the quantity over here. This is the unit of measure. And lastly, we need to specify again the unit rate. The unit rate. Um, so let's assume for this pipe and uh, for this pipe material or for this pipe size. The unit rate, the unit rate is let's say um, 900, nine, okay, so 9,000. And again, I want to take this one and multiply with this quantity. So that's what we have. Okay, this is what we are having. Okay, and again, we want to do the same for the next pipe size, then I need to go here and select pipe diameter again. The next pipe size is this one. Okay, so I need to filter this. Okay, so the total length for this one here is, I need to find sum. So this is the total length. I'll copy the same value and then go to this sheet. And again, I'll just paste, paste it somewhere here as numbers. Okay, of course, this the unit of measure is meters. The unit of measure is meters. And again, I need to specify the description. So for this pipe, the description, of course, the same pipe material, but except we need to change this to 63, which is equivalent to 2 inch pipe. Again, the pressure rating is the same PN10. PN10. And again, the unit rate for this. Okay, so let me assume the unit rate is um 7000 and again this is number 2 i want to do the same thing for the same thing for the next pipe diameter which is 40 44 again this is the internal diameter if i click that one if i filter it you can see we are having the total length again i want to to calculate the total length if i click sum you can see this is what we are having. So if I copy this value again, I need to go and copy it somewhere here. Okay, I'll copy it as number. Of course, the unit of measure is meter. The description, again, this one was, the internal diameter here was, so the internal diameter for this one is 44. This is the internal diameter. But 44, the outside diameter is 50 millimeters, of course, PN10. 50 millimeters, 50 millimeters. Again, pressure rating is PN10 and material pipe is HDP. So everything is okay. The unit rate for this, let me assume the unit rate be as 600, 6,000, sorry. And again, I want to do the same thing for the other pipe diameter, which for my case was at this one, 35.4, which is equivalent to outside diameter of 40. And I'll need to copy this and paste it somewhere here. Again, the, the same values, the same pipe material, but the pressure rating here is PN10. PN10. And again, I want to do the same for the last pipe, the last diameter, which is 28. Right click, then copy only numbers. So, so in other words, in my model, which is uh, this one, so in in my model, which is this one, I used the total length of 5,397.61 meters of outside diameter 32, which is equivalent to one inch pipe. So the total length for 32, for OD32 is uh, this one. So that is the same pipe material. Of course, the pressure rating is just the same. Okay, so that's one. I need to specify the unit rate for this one. Unit rate, let's assume the unit rate as 5,000. And again, for OD32, 
two, the unit rate is let's let me assume was uh, thirty five hundred. Again, I want to drag this all the way to around this area, and uh, again I want to find the sum for this one. Okay, sum for this one, and this one here will be total. Okay, so let me do this. So the total length for this one, I want to calculate the total length. Okay, let me do this. I, I don't think that will be a very good idea. Let me put here total. Total. So this is total. Total cost for for the pipes, which is this amount. And again, I also need to calculate the total length. Okay, the total length. So let me put here somewhere here. Total length for my network is so if I put here some. And if I remember, this is the quantity, of course, in meters. If I drag and drop somewhere here, and if I close this, so this is the total meters, total length in meters, and again, the total length in kilometers. Kilometers. So for this network, the total length of this network, the total length of this network is 24.9 kilometers. Okay. That is the total length, and not just that. For each pipe, for each pipe uh, diameter, we, we manage to get the total length of each pipe diameter. And again, let me finish this one here, and let me at least we need to have something that looks somehow good. Okay, yeah, something like this. But this one's here again. So that is how you can prepare bill of quantities after finishing your design after uh, design your project in Epanet software. But this is something that needs to be done by uh, quantity surveyors. But sometimes we don't have such a luxury. We don't have quantity surveyors around. And uh, if you are in such a situation and you want to prepare the uh, bill of quantities after finishing your, your uh, project design in Epanet software, then that is how you can do it. That's how you can do it. And even if you have the quantity surveyors around. It's always good practice to prepare such a list, a list like that one. So instead of sharing with them the Epanet model, yes, prepare uh, such a list and share it with them. Okay, it will help them a lot when they are preparing like the final BOQ for the project that you have designed. Okay, so that is what I wanted to share with you guys, and I'll see you, of course, in the next tutorial.